Hi everyone, welcome back to Little Mum Life in another week, another grocery haul. Uh, three stores once again. Let's take you through it. All right, let's uh, we'll go smallest to biggest. So let's go over to Coles this week. Not too many things from Coles. We've got the three pack of mixed veg. The ultimate cookies, which uh, if you watched last week's, you'll know my family told me that they prefer those over the Aldi ones. So there you go. Um, they're $3.50 a box, so they're not too bad. Uh, we've got some mushrooms and some things are on special. The Papa Giuseppe Panini Crust. Uh, that's a two-pack down from $5 to $2.50, so that was half price. Um, I always check the bakery section for specials and I always will pick up um, these Meb breads if they're on special. So reduced from 240 to 144. Uh, you'll know that I do these. I just pop them in the freezer and then I can do mini pizzas and stuff on them. Uh, this was uh, just because it wasn't on my list. I just picked up some dip. I thought, wow, the weekend's coming up. Some crackers and dip and a nice glass of wine. Uh, tasty cheddar that's our favorite the one from Coles and what did, I, what did I get here oh um so last week I wanted to get the Australian bacon from the deli they didn't have any I saw it there this week I did actually buy bacon in Aldi so I got four slices here because it's $21 a kilo so it wasn't on special anymore it cost me $3.19 for four slices uh it looks like a weird like it's not a middle it looks like two pieces of shortcut were like smooshed together and there's not much fat on it. So I don't have high hopes for the bacon, but we'll try it on the weekend and see. Uh, to go with that on the weekend, some black pudding. We love it. Yum. And, oh, this rolling pin. So down the kind of seasonal section, they've got a lot of kitchenware at the minute. This is on, it said it was on clearance, but it cost $3. Um... I don't know if you can see. I got short fingers, so you probably won't be able to tell. Oh wait, I've just spied something on the floor that can help me. There's a ruler, which is 15 centimeters long. So that's probably be what about a 20 centimeter rolling pin. I picked it up for my girls, who like to help me bake, and we roll out pizza dough and stuff like that, and cookies and things. Uh, because I've got, so I've got. My big mama rolling pin, that's for me. I have another one that's a little bit smaller than this that I picked up for them when they were littler. And then I've got like this teeny tiny like five centimeter one that they had when they were like babies doing dough. So I thought it was about time to upsize them. And when I saw that, I thought, I'm just going to grab that. Um, so spare of the moment purchases. I've got a lot of those this week, actually. Things that I spare of the moment purchase. So we'll wait and see what how much I spent. Uh, so that was Coles. Here we go. Total. All right. Let's, uh, we're going over to Woolies. I don't know why I packed the table oddly today, but here we go. We're on the opposite end for Woolies. Uh, orange juice because Aldi was out. No orange juice to be had at Aldi. Got the Earth Choice toilet cleaner. Uh, this was on special. I'll put the price up because I can't remember it off the top of my head. But I do know it was cheaper than the Aldi um, Eco Toilet Cleaner. So this is why I chose to get the Earth Choice. Fantastic Noodle Pots. 97 cents each they were. I got six. There's five on the table because my husband has already nabbed one. Like as soon as I pulled them out, he's already off eating one. Uh, they're meant to be for his work lunch, but he's got the day off today. Uh, Sam's Pantry. They were popular, the cookie dough. So I've got some more of those. Now, Glad Bake compostable brown paper. So brown baking paper. This is 25 meter roll. It was on special for $4 and something. I'll put the price up. Um, I normally use the Multix Greener brand in the, with the brown paper, um, but it looks to be like they're replacing it with this one in Woolies because they had very few options of the Multix and they had more of these uh, that were obviously on an introductory special because I had not seen them before. 
um, but that they're home cost home compostable so uh, you can chuck that in your compost bin when you're done which I like the sound of that uh, we have a compost bin so that's where that'll be going once I've finished and I use a lot of it too we do a lot of baking and I hate things when they stick so uh, moving on peachy mango jelly two lots of those chicken nuggets because I forgot to look for them in Aldi they were on my list for Aldi and when I got out and was just double checking what I need to get for Woolies I'm like oh man I forgot the nuggets so there we go Woolies nuggets a couple of cabanas they were uh what are they 18 dollars a kilo they're always 18 a kilo off the deli in Woolies so pretty reliable broccoli there was no frozen broccoli in Aldi uh so I found they had the smaller section so they're probably about six bags maybe so I got two because I know broccoli is is becoming harder to find and it's very expensive fresh so two of those uh avos a dollar twenty each in woolies and the oreos were a dollar each um two regular interesting chocolate hazelnut double stuff haven't tried these i'm going to try them and some golden one of my daughters likes the golden ones so that's woolies there's the price for you okay and then to aldi middle of the table uh, so apple juice, like I said, they were out of orange. Otherwise, I would have got it there. Um, extra soft bread rolls. So this weekend's fakeaway meal is burgers. Um, I was going to buy the burger buns. But, you know, I really don't like that kind of seed on top. Soup, like, you know, perfectly formed. <laughs> I think I'm a bread snob. Um, but I saw these bread, and they're just bread rolls, regular bread rolls. Um, but I thought, oh, do you know what? They look much nicer to have with a, with a burger, you know, build up your burger with those. So I bought those instead. They were exactly the same price. So there was no difference buying the burger buns to buying the bread rolls. Uh, and then I've got two of the Viva whole meal and then one of the regular soft sandwich whole meal, um, for hubby who doesn't like the Viva. Uh, also for hubby, Turkish rolls, but I do want to pinch some of those because I've still got my bruschetta um, tomato bruschetta mix from Costco to eat up uh, fruit and veg not a lot I didn't buy a lot but I did buy green beans and I was so happy to see them because I was panicking a bit I wrote green, green beans down on my list and then I read uh, a report from Woolies saying that green beans are going to be scarce and I'm like oh no but I need them I want them um, so there they were a big 500 gram bag cost me $5.50 mind you but I'm going to soak these um, before I put them away. I'm going to soak them in some vinegar water. Uh, I found that last time I did that, they lasted a lot longer than they normally do because green beans can go yuck pretty quick. Bananas, nice and cheap, $1.79 a kilo. So I got six greenish ones and three yellow ones. There's one missing. I ate it. I got hungry. Um, a red capsicum two of the whole meal wraps there's two here uh snacks salt vinegar chips sour cream and onion chips cheese corn chips plain corn chips pretzel twists oh, i feel really like it really points out to you how much snack food you're buying when you sit there and film it and sometimes i'm like god really all these snacks but hey hey ho the McVitie's digestives were in the uh, the English section of Aldi still. So $2.19 they are. So I'm still winning on McVitie's prices. Also found the Coleman's mint sauce was there, which my husband wanted me to pick up a few weeks ago when they did, when they released all the English stuff. No Bisto gravy though, never mind. Some tuna, two. Uh, two of the tomatoes. <gasps> yes, they were there. Beer battered fries. Um, only 10 cents more than the super crisp ones that we've been eating. But they're still good. Uh, mozzarella cheese. Or oh, shall go backwards. So kilo of bacon. Um, that price had gone up. Not too significantly, but it was okay. Uh, we've got the gravy beef back there. 
if anyone got the Aldi catalog this week, and I'll see if I can find it, but there was a recipe for a beef stew with dropped dumplings. Here it is. I found the found the catalog. Beef and mushroom braise with drop dumplings. And I've still got Brussels sprouts left from that big bag at Costco. They're just about to turn, but I'm going to do this meal tomorrow. So with some peas, that looks fantastic. And then there was some other stuff on here that looked really yum. Rock and chicken, pork belly with sweet potato and beans. I think that's why I wanted beans because I'm like, I've got pork belly and sweet potato. I could do that one too. I don't know if I will. Definitely this one. Okay. Uh, cheese. <laughs> cheese. Lots of cheese. I got mozzarella cheese. I got cheese slices. I got cheese sticks. I got spreadable cheese. It's a big old cheese week. I got a big butter, a little cream. And my purchase that was, uh, I kind of knew that I wanted them, but I didn't know I was going to get two. I just decided at the time. It's a 24 pack of stainless steel pegs. So I bought two packets and they were, how much? One second. Yeah, I just went to look on my docket. They were $7.99 a pack, uh, which is good, 24, because I know I had down that I was going to look at Coles because they were advertising stainless steel pegs for $7.50, but I think it was only like a 15 pack. So it was less. So this was a great deal. So I picked up two because I use those. I just use the wooden pegs uh, and I'm lazy. I'll leave them out on the line, just hanging there. And they're starting to look all manky and some of the metal bits are rusting. And then, you know, they flip apart. All right, so that's it for Aldi. And then the total for the shop. And oh, just before you go, I went to Kmart. I had a really, really scathingly brilliant idea. And I picked up some of these preserving jars. Uh, these are 300 mils. These are 120 mils, but these ones, I thought, because uh, I use that Easier yogurt maker, um, but the kids never really go to the big jar and help themselves. They like little things. I didn't want to buy pouches again. They uh, enjoyed having those yogurts the other week that came in the um, Harvest Angels hamper. So I thought if I do up my Easio and then I'll put it into these little, there's eight there's eight jars in there. Put them into these little pots, like a single serve. Uh, then they can smash those out. And then while I was there, I saw these ones. I thought, oh, look, that's a great size for. There's six in here. Great size for, you know, overnight oats and other snacks like that. Snacks, breakfast. Anyway, I just wanted to show you that. <laughs> yeah, so that's, uh, yep, that's it for the week. And I'll see you next week with another video. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Bye.